Hi guys, uh, welcome to Quality Thought Career Institute. This is Niyas, Master Trainer for Full Stack Java Development Course. Do you know majority of the people are in dilemma to decide who are eligible for Full Stack Java Development Course? In this video, I am going to explain who are eligible for Full Stack Java Developer or Development Course. If you go to any institute today and if you ask question to the students, tell me why you have taken this course, then that student will say because my friend suggested me, my relative suggested me, my parents forced me. Do you think that taking a course without having any info, is it good for you? Is it good for your career? No sir. In this video, I am going to explain about a who are eligible for full stack Java development course? Do you know some people are thinking I am from a so and so background, so I am not fit for that full stack Java development course. So let me give you the brief explanation about who are fit for this course and who are fit for a full stack Java developer. So do you know, do you know earlier if you go and check a like one decade back so only engineering students are more preferable for this course and more preferable for this job title but when you know cloud came into the market so what happens you know everyone started it companies so when everyone started it companies so then their eligibility criteria is also changed. So they are not telling that we want candidate only from engineering background. They are telling if you have a good quality, then you are most welcome for an interview. Means if you are a BCom student, you are eligible for a full stack Java development course. If you are from BSc background, you are eligible for full stack Java development course. If you are a B.Tech student from any stream, whether it's a CSC, EC, Triple E, Mechanical, IT, any background, then even though you are eligible for a full stack Java development course. So not only this domain, if you are from other domain also, you are fit for the VTL full stack Java development course because nowadays eligibility criteria has changed completely because of cloud environment. And one more thing I want to tell you, uh, whenever you go and check any company's JD, job description, so every company will give job description with eligibility criteria. So might be you have seen somewhere uh, some companies prefers only engineering candidates. Some companies will prefer engineering with the BSc candidates. Somewhere you can find uh, some, call, uh, some companies will refer B.Tech. BSc as well as BCom, non-IT people also. So this is why you can see these variations, you know, why you can see these differences, you know, because we have three different types of IT companies today. One, we have a service-based company. One, we have a product-based company. And another is we have a cloud-based company. So big MNCs. So in this service-based companies, product-based companies or cloud-based companies, we have MNCs, we have medium scale companies and we have a small scale companies. And MNC is always preferred only engineering graduates only for jobs. And they definitely they will give good package. But when it is comes to medium scale company or small scale company, they will say you are eligible if you are a graduate student. They are not mentioning that if you are from B.Tech, then only you are eligible. It means in a medium scale companies and small scale companies, any graduate is eligible. And you need to maintain some percentage also. Because every company says you can maintain minimum 60% above. So if you have 60% uh, aggregate uh, percentage in your academy and uh, if you are a graduate student, then you are a fit for this uh, full stack Java development course. So now the question will come, sir, if I do this full stack Java development course, then 
for which position i can apply you can apply for front end developer you can apply for back end developer you can apply for full stack developer tomorrow if you want to change your you know domain you can change you can do android for mobile development also even we can do hadoop if you have java knowledge so means there are various technologies are there where we can build our career but in this video i am not going to explain about what are the domains are available for java but in this video i just want to show you only the eligibility criteria and might be some people having one doubt in their mind i have like one year career gap or two years career gap so am i fit for this full stack java development course yes remember as i said if you go to any job portal also like indeed nokri shine linkedin and if you go and check the jd some companies says if you are from 2020 to 2024 you are eligible for interviews so depends on the company sir mnc's always give priority to freshers but when we take medium scale and small scale companies they always looks for the quality so i believe if you have like career gap or if you are a fresher from any domain then you are fit for this full stack java development course this is all about full stack java development course eligibility criteria i hope you like this session and uh, please like my channel and uh, if you want to know any latest update on full stack java development course please subscribe this channel and uh, we have a free master class on full stack java development course uh, where i am going to explain in details about the uh, every content of full stack java development course for online and offline students so please like and subscribe and uh, all the best thank you